May 1st is National College Decision Day when young people across the country have to decide which, if any, college offer to accept. This could be the biggest financial decision that some of them ever make. Joining us tonight is author and New York Times columnist Ron Lieber, who's out with a new book, The Price You Pay for College. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Lieber. The cost of college has certainly exploded in recent years. Why is it just so expensive? You say it's not because of the fancy amenities like a lazy river or upscale dorms. Uh, that we often hear about. No, on the state side, at the state schools, the subsidies have been cut, um, particularly in the last recession. Uh, the administrators have no choice but to raise tuition unless they want to cut programs, which would make parents mad. Uh, on the private side, the list prices aren't actually what most people pay. Uh, roughly 90% of people get some kind of discount. But to the extent that the price has gone up on an inflation-adjusted basis, it's often because these places are expensive to run. There are more grown-ups there than there used to be, more administrators providing more of the services that we parents have actually asked for. And for those of us like me, uh, with younger children trying to plan ahead, uh, I think the expectation is, is really that these sky-high prices will only continue to rise. But at what point does the cost of college become just out of reach for the masses? Well, I'm not sure that we've reached it exactly for the bulk of parents. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that we're told as parents by, by our country and by the federal government that issues these financial aid dictates that we are expected, the expected family contribution to provide for our kids. Our parents may have done it for us who are trying to make up for the fact that they didn't do it uh, for us. And we feel an obligation to do whatever is required. So there's a sort of emotional game that's being played here in the marketing and in the requirements that are being asked of us. And for someone who just had a baby in 2020 or 2021 and they're trying to plan, what would you say are some of the best vehicles for their money? Well, I think, first of all, don't panic. Pat yourself on the back for thinking about this 18 or 20 years ahead of time. The fact of the matter is, is that you don't have to save every dollar that you might need, but start saving something. Save as much as you reasonably can. Just about every state has its own 529 college savings plan. You may get a tax break from your state when you put money in. You'll get a federal tax break on the way out. You won't have to pay taxes on the growth in the money. And save as much as you can. And then somewhere along the way, you'll use some money out of current income and perhaps borrow some, you know, save a third, borrow a third, spend a third, and you just might get there. You've said that one reaction to your book has been anger because you highlight the lack of transparency around college pricing and financial aid. Explain that for us. Well, one of the biggest challenges for parents as their kids approach the age when they apply is that it's not at all clear how much this will actually cost, what the net price will be. Most people don't pay the list price. There is the aid, the discounts that comes from need-based financial aid based on how much you earn and how much you have. And then there are these different discounts that have nothing to do with what you earn, uh, this so-called merit aid that's being offered to an increasing number of students. And that in particular is very difficult to predict. So the swing might be literally six figures over four years. And people are pretty annoyed that they have to jump through so many hoops to even begin to try to predict what it might cost. And as I was mentioning before, we're coming up on May 1st, decision day for many. Can you share your tips about how to negotiate or appeal a financial aid award? Well, sure. First of all, it's not too late to ask for more money. I would say avoid that N-word, negotiate. Uh, the administrators in the financial aid office and the, the admissions office, they don't want to feel like used car dealers. Go there um, with some sense of humility, uh, maybe with a little touch of humor, and say, look, I think we may have made a mistake here. Uh, you know, we've got a different bottom line price that's lower at this other school. We'd really like to go to yours. And, uh, you know, maybe we've had a change of financial circumstances, or maybe there's something we can tell you about what our child has done in the classroom or outside the classroom uh, for the last couple of months that you hadn't yet heard about because it wasn't in the application. And begin there. And uh, more often than not, these administrators will have a conversation with you. I uh, just got a note yesterday morning from somebody who got $40,000 more over four years just by asking. And you've also have a chapter there called Skipping College is Probably Not a Great Idea. You analyze the data on college costs and the earning potential of college graduates. What are your main takeaways? 
Well, I'd say, first of all, skipping college is a great idea if your kid has no interest in going and no motivation. Uh, if they're really good with their hands or really good with their head in a way that doesn't require a college education, let them go. A lot of teenagers have no business being there. But the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, the economic data shows that there's a, a seven-figure difference, you know, over a million dollars uh, over a lifetime of earnings that's the average difference between people who go to college and finish and people who don't. So those are the dollars, um, and it's hard to ignore that economic data. Some news you can use there. We thank you so much, Ron Lieber, for your book and for your useful information. Thank you for having me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.